Hi there, welcome to today's video and today we're going to be finally looking at Super Frog HD. I absolutely used to love this game when it first came out back in 1993, all those years ago, so I could not wait to get my hands on it when it came out on iPhone and iPad. Now if you don't know the story, it's about a handsome prince who is turned into a slimy frog by an evil witch and then the evil witch kidnaps the princess bride-to-be. So, the little frog finds a mysterious potion which gives him special powers and off he goes to try and defeat the witch and obviously save the girl. Now, the controls are fairly straightforward as you can see on screen. You've got your left and right, uh, jump and duck. And the idea or the goal of the game is to collect a set number of coins before you can reach the exit. And there are 24 levels altogether and also some additional boss levels across six themed worlds. And it's just so much like the actual game. I absolutely love it. Even down to the music, it's very, very similar. And I just love it. It's brilliant. Now, I tried this first of all on my iPhone, but I did find it quite difficult with the controls at the bottom. The buttons seemed quite small, so at times I was pressing the wrong button. I was going backwards instead of forwards. And also, because it moves quite fast on the screen, I found it quite hard to keep track of where he was when he was moving. So I tried it on the iPad, on my iPad Air, and I have to say it was a lot easier. Obviously the buttons are bigger because the screen's bigger and you could just see more when he was moving around and it was just a lot easier to see what's going on and to control it. So if you have the choice of either device, I'd recommend trying it on your iPad instead. Not to say that it's not playable on the iPhone, it is just a bit fiddly with the controls. Also at the end of the levels, if you manage to collect some spin coins, you get a, like a fruit machine and some goes to spin on it. Now, I can't remember if this was actually in the real game back at all those years ago. It's so long ago I can't remember. But there is the option now so you can win some more prizes by spinning the wheel, which I thought was a nice feature. But all in all, it's a really good game. I'm enjoying it. It's brought back some lovely, happy memories of when I was playing it and used to be addicted to it. So I'm really glad I bought it. I'd say it's definitely worth a purchase and if you like platform type games you're sure to love this game as well but give it a try if you've already tried it which you may have because it's been out a while now let me know in the comments below what you think and thank you for watching